WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's 9 a.m. Eastern time on Monday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets in positive territory to start things off. Right now, you got the Dow futures up 46 points, trading at 26,800 on the dot. Got the S&P futures up 12 points, right at 3,000. And the NASDAQ futures up 40 points, trading at 79.20. Oil pulling back a bit, getting a little bit of volatility, negative 24 cents at 53.54. Ten-year yield inching up a bit, 1.783 percent right now as we start off the morning and the trading week jumping off to the vix checking out the volatility index looking to open pretty much right where we closed on friday 1430 on that vix volatility index jumping over to the charts we'll start things off on the indices we'll start it off on the dow and as you can see we were higher a bit pre-market but nothing too over the top we were at about 26,835 in the dow so just about 35 points off that price level NASDAQ 100, just a few minutes ago, made a high of 79.25, currently trading 79.18. S&P 500, inching higher over the last five, six hours, 3 a.m. Eastern time, we're trading at 29.89. We're now a solid 11 S&P points above that level, right at 3,000. There's your crude oil market. As I said, crude with some volatility to the downside. For, let's call it 5 a.m. Eastern time, you're above $54. Crude trades under Excuse me, we're above $54. Crude trades from $54.13. We're now trading at $53.37, getting a little bit of an acceleration to lower prices. There's your gold contract, $14.95. Made it as high as about $14.97. And then at 4 a.m., we're down there at $14.90. And the euro US dollar, a little bit of Brexit volatility over the weekend. Backing things up. There's your Sunday night open. There's your Friday close. So a little bit below that level, but the euro still kind of right where we closed out last week as the Brexit saga continues with euro trading 111.61. In terms of what else you have happening out there, big week of earnings. About a quarter of the S&P delivering their earnings. We get Microsoft this week and Halliburton kicking things off. Their profit, 32% fall on weak North American drilling. And to jump over to Halliburton, H-A-L. That stock looking to open lower. 1821 closed it out on Friday at 1843. Chipotle will finish it up, getting an upgrade as well. Looking to open 847, closed at 841. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up live with Trade What You See. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Monday.